Hola muchachos, ¿qué tal? Buenos días. Hoy es lunes el 19 de octubre. El horario para hoy siempre vamos a empezar con un warm-up. ¿Qué día es hoy? ¿Cuál es la fecha de hoy? ¿Y qué tiempo hace hoy? Vamos a repasar después el vocabulario clave del capítulo 1A que está en las páginas 26 y 27. ¿Qué te gusta hacer? ¿Te gusta bailar? ¿Te gusta escuchar música? ¿Te gusta practicar deportes? ¿Qué te gusta hacer? Vocabulary having to do with things you like to do in your free time, hobbies and interests, and extracurricular activities. After we go over this key vocabulary again, uh, we're going to watch a video on pages 28 and 29. Video Historia, ¿Qué te gusta hacer? Páginas 28 y 29. And you have some comprehension questions that, that correspond with the video on page 29. I asked you guys to set up those questions and to be ready to answer those. Uh, in conjunction with the video that we're going to watch. The last thing that we'll do for today are the vocabulario and uso exercises 5 through 6 and 8 on pages 30 and 31. Uh, uso, utilizing the vocabulary, vocabulario and uso. Te gusta o no te gusta? Do you like or not like the activities pictured here? You'll make a list of the activities that you like and the activities that you don't like using the vocabulary from pages 26 and 27. And then the last exercise, exercise eight, will be a conversation activity we'll do together in small groups where you're asking one another, do you like these activities? Te gusta montar en monopatín? And you respond by saying, si sí, me gusta mucho, or no, no me gusta nada. To say, I like it a lot, or I don't like it at all. Te gusta hablar por teléfono? Si sí, me gusta hablar por teléfono? Si sí, me gusta mucho? Or no, no me gusta nada. For all of these activities, and again, all that vocabulary on pages 26 and 27. The last activity is the Fondo Cultural. On page 31, this is a discussion activity. But we need to go into your Canvas course to find it. If you guys go under Modules or Assignments, you'll be able to find it. We'll look under Assignments. And again, it's Fondo Cultural, page 31. Let's see if we can find that here toward the bottom. There it is. So for this discussion activity, you're referring to, oh, I already have it uploaded there, perfect. This reading here that's in English, the responses to these questions should also be in English. So take a look at this uh, short paragraph here and then respond to these questions. What are some places you and your friends like to go and hang out at? How does your experience compare with that of Spanish teens in Salamanca, España? And then lastly, if you had family from out of town or an international exchange student visiting you, where would you take them to hang out and sightsee? This reading has to do with where young people your age go and hang out. Um, in, in Spain and in lots of places in Latin America, throughout the Spanish speaking world, La Plaza, which is the town square, and outdoor cafes and restaurants, those are the spots to hang out, to have a meal, catch up with a friend, or just people watch. Uh, is that the same? Uh, are same similar places that you guys go to when you hang out together prior to the pandemic, of course? So compare your own experience with that of your uh, peers in Spain. And then, of course, always respond to three classmates offering a shared experience or an opinion 
uh, about where you like to hang out with your friends.